click on these topics in order to progress through a successful guest experience. The beginning of the guest's experience is the reservation process. Here, accuracy is very important because the information gathered in the reservation process will be used throughout the guest's experience, from registration to checkout. Here is the vital information you'll need to record accurately. The guest's name with accurate spelling. Also, if pronunciation is difficult, note a phonetic spelling in the PMS notes field. The guest's home address, street, ask for the correct spelling if necessary, number and or apartment, city, state, and zip code, a home phone number, a mobile phone number or number they can be reached on the day of arrival, email address to send a confirmation, date of arrival and length of stay or checkout date, room type, double, king, suite, or other. Payment guarantee information, such as a credit card number. Guest loyalty number and status, if the guest is a member. Any special notes or requests, such as late arrival, airline or arrival arrangements, or the need for your hotel's shuttle service if necessary. When the guest's reservation information is accurately entered, repeat and confirm key information back to the guest. Okay, Mrs. Young, I have a king room reserved for you arriving on September 5th for three nights, departing on the 8th. Your rate of $89 plus tax includes a complimentary deluxe breakfast each morning and manager's reception each evening. Also explain any reservation restrictions or cancellation policies as necessary. If you need to change or cancel your reservation for any reason, please contact us 24 hours in advance of your arrival or you may be charged for the first night's stay. Is there anything else we can do for you, Mrs. Young? No, I don't think so. Finally, provide the guest a confirmation number. Very well. Here is your confirmation number, Mrs. Young. A as in Alpha, T as in Tango, X as in X-Ray, 482. I'll be sending a confirmation to your email address. Thank you, Mrs. Young, for the opportunity to earn your business. Click on these topics in order to progress through a successful guest experience. Your pre-shift responsibilities begin before you even arrive at the hotel. Bathe, shower, and groom yourself according to your hotel's appearance standards. Wear your approved uniform, clean and wrinkle-free, as well as your name tag. Most importantly, wear a smile. Be on time for your shift. This doesn't mean getting there at the time your shift begins, but arriving with plenty of time to prepare yourself so that you're ready to do your job. Check with your supervisor to learn of any special situations or instructions. Then check the front desk logbook for relevant information or communication from previous shifts. If you get a separate cash drawer, count the till and complete the accounting book work. Remember to do this in the back of the house for security reasons. Keep the front desk area neat and organized. Stray papers, post-it notes, and trash can present a negative first impression to the guest. Never eat or drink anything at the front desk. Log on to the PMS and download incoming reservations from the Central Reservation System if necessary. Also, print out an arrivals list and check it against inventory, making adjustments and preparations as needed. Prepare key packets, registration cards, and any other materials for incoming guests as needed. Click on these topics in order to progress through a successful guest experience. As we pointed out earlier, guest registration is a key part of making a positive first impression. As you work at the front desk, keep your eyes up checking often for activity in the lobby and guests approaching the front desk. You should always be standing when helping a guest. When a guest does approach, stand up, make eye contact, and offer a warm, friendly greeting, offering to assist. Welcome to the Sunrise Inn and Suites. How may I help you? Hi, my name is Dina Jimenez. I have a reservation. 
Welcome, Ms. Jimenez. Let me find your reservation. May I ask you to spell your last name? Oh, certainly. It's J as in Jack, I-M-E-N as in Nancy, E-Z. Thank you. If you cannot find the reservation, do not alarm the guest with a worried expression or negative response. Hmm. Nothing. Instead, ask for a confirmation number or other documentation. Do you have a confirmation number, Ms. Jimenez? Yes, let me find it. If the guest does not have a confirmation number or other documentation, look for the guest's name under different spellings or other arrival dates. If the reservation still cannot be found and you have rooms available, go ahead and register the guest, but ask that the guest return later with the documentation. You know, I, I know I have it on my laptop. Well, let's go ahead and get you registered, Ms. Jimenez. But when you get settled in your room and connect your computer, I'd appreciate you calling down to the front desk with that confirmation number. It's important that we find your original reservation so you don't get charged as a no-show. Will do. If there is no problem finding the reservation, confirm the details, especially room type, length of stay, and any special requests. Also, once you've learned the guest's name, use it early and often. Yes, Miss Jimenez, I have a suite reserved for you for three nights, departing on Thursday. And it looks like you requested an upper floor room next to the elevator. Is that correct? Yes. Very good. Next, ask for identification and a credit card. I just need to see your identification and the credit card you'd like to use to guarantee payment. While you process the guest's registration, use the opportunity to build rapport with the guest. Looks like you brought some good weather with you. What brings you to town? Well, I'm attending a training conference here for some software we've just installed. Yeah, After you've there. compared the guest's identification to the reservation information, process the credit card for pre-approval of an amount equal to the estimated charges for the stay. After assigning a room to the guest, print out a registration form, if you haven't already, and have the guest sign the document and initial important details. Here's your registration document. Please initial here for your rate. And here for the departure date and sign at the bottom, please. How many key cards will you need? Just one. Encode the guest's key card very carefully, entering the room number and departure date precisely. As you do this, explain any relevant hotel amenities to the guest. Our deluxe breakfast bar is open from 6 a.m. to 9 a.m. Uh, we also have a... Never say the room number out loud. Instead, insert the key card into a key card packet and write the room number on the outside and direct him or her to the room. Here's your key card, Ms. Jimenez. I've written your room number on the packet. The elevators are around the corner. Take it to the second floor and exit to your right. Ask if the guest needs a wake-up call or other assistance. Would you like a wake-up call tomorrow morning? No, thank you. Do you need any help with your luggage? Thank you. I think I'm set. End the conversation with an open-ended offer of assistance. Is there anything else I can do for you? No, I think I'm good. Again, my name is Dexter. I'll be here until 10 o'clock tonight. However, there's someone here at the front desk 24 hours a day. So just dial zero if you need anything. Okay, I will. Again, thank you very much for choosing to stay with us, Ms. Jimenez. Please enjoy your stay. The final step in a quality registration is a courtesy call. Wait 15 to 30 minutes for the guest to get settled in his or her room, and then... Hello? Hello, Ms. Jimenez. This is Dexter at the front desk. I just want to check to make sure everything in your room is to your satisfaction. Well, yes. Thank you for asking. Oh, um, is there an ice machine on this floor? Yes, on the other side of the hall near the elevators. Would you like me to see if someone can bring you some ice? Wow, you do that? No, you know, that's okay. It's right across the hall. Thanks anyway. Very good, Miss Amenis. Thank you again for staying with us and let me know if there's anything you need. Well, thank you. Thank you. Click on these topics in order to progress through a successful guest experience. Once registered, the guest may or may not need your attention. However, you must always be ready to offer help or assistance. Record any important incidents, requests, or problems in the front desk log 
especially information that needs to be communicated from one shift to another, such as wake-up calls. Note wake-up call requests accurately, recording the guest's name with pronunciation if that is important, and the room number and time. Repeat the information back to the guest. Okay, Ms. Jimenez, I have you wake up call for 6.30 a.m. in room 212. Thank you. Many phone systems today can automatically make wake up calls, so it is important to enter the room number and time accurately. If you pre-record the greeting or make the calls personally, offer a friendly greeting with a smile in your voice. Good morning, Mrs. Jimenez. This is Kim at the front desk with your 6.30 a.m. wake-up call. They're predicting partly sunny weather today with a high of 63 degrees. The breakfast bar is open until 10.30. Have a great day. If you work in the evenings or overnight, it may happen that you are the only staff on duty at the hotel. Preparation is key. Gather commonly requested guest items such as towels, irons, and TV remote batteries at the front desk so that guests may come to the front desk for items or service. For security reasons, never let the public or guests know that you are the only staff on property. Yes, we do have extra towels available, Mr. Peabody. However, I can't leave the front desk at the moment. I can provide those to you immediately if you'd like to come down. If you must leave the front desk briefly for any reason, secure the cash drawer as well as any valuable items or equipment within reach. Log off the PMS, turn off the monitor, and lock the door to the back office. Take a portable phone and or cell phone with you and leave a note card at the front desk saying you'll be back shortly. One final note, never leave the desk to deal with a safety or security related incident by yourself. Begin by contacting the guest by phone and asking the guest to come to the front desk to discuss the issue. If you sense any sign of trouble or danger, contact the police. Sooner is better than later. And let your manager know. Click on these topics in order to progress through a successful guest experience. The final step in a quality guest experience is checkout. Checkout is an opportunity for you to leave a lasting positive impression on the guest and also a final opportunity to learn of any problems or complaints. Good morning, Mr. Carlton. How may I help you? I'm on my way home and I'd like to check out. I can help you with that. Confirm the guest's room number in order to close out the account. A room 314, is that correct? Yes, that's correct. Also, confirm payment arrangements and the guest's email address. And will you be keeping that on your credit card, Mr. Carlton? Yes, that's fine. And may I confirm your email address, please? Yes, it's michael.carlton. While printing the guest's folio, use this opportunity to ask for feedback on their stay. And how was your stay with us? It was nice. Uh, was there anything we could have done to make your stay more enjoyable? One thing I noticed was that the vent fan in my bathroom was making a funny noise. I appreciate you bringing that to our attention, Mr. Carlton. I will make note of that for maintenance immediately. Thank you. When the final statement has printed, review it briefly for accuracy and ask the guest to do the same. Here is a copy of your final statement, Mr. Carlton. Please review the charges, and if everything looks good, just sign at the bottom. At some hotels, the credit card charge will be a separate document and you'll need the guest to sign that as well. Looks good. Also, ask for the guest's key or key card. Did you happen to bring your key card, Mr. Carlton? No, I left it in the room. Provide the guest with a copy of the final statement and ask for future business before delivering a positive farewell. Here is a copy of your final statement, Mr. Carlton. Will you be coming back to see us again soon? Yes, I think I'll be back the end of next month. Would you like me to make that reservation right now? Well, let me see. Know which guests may need transportation options, directions or a map, places to eat nearby, 
the closest gas station to the airport. It looks like those dates aren't locked in yet. I'll give you a call when I get home. I understand. Is there anything else I can assist you with this morning, Mr. Carlton? No, Kim, that's all. Well, I look forward to hearing about your next day. You may receive an online survey from us.、Uh, we appreciate your taking the time to provide us with your feedback about your stay. We'll travel safely, and thanks again for staying at the Sunrise Inn and Suites. And there you have it—a quality guest experience managed by a professional team of front desk service agents. Keep in mind that every hotel is unique, and your hotel has specific policies and procedures that you'll need to learn and follow. But the skills and concepts you've learned in this program will help to make your job easier and your hotel more successful by developing loyal customers who will return again and again. Good luck.